up, ladies and gents? It's me, uh, B-Boy Allen, here with Eddie's 99 PR4. This is round three, our third session of Flash Tuning, eliminating the piggyback crap and going for pure awesome. You can see, here's Sexy Green, all original. Come take a look with me. We have the Gretti intercooler kit, 16T turbos, Gretti blow off valve recirculated. We have our AEM True Boost with solenoid. We just reinstalled the, the solenoids with vacuum hoses and lines correctly. Avoid all that check engine light and DTCs. Everything's top notch here. We double check your work. You fall in the unit, start it up. She has no fuel, remember? Oh, yeah. So we just swapped in a Denso Supra to replace the stock Denso. So uh, it's going to take a while to pick her up and fill up the lines. But this is to show you that everything starts up perfectly fine on the splash tune. Cold start, we're at about you know, 12, 1300 RPM. Normal, it'll drop down. This is the AFC2. It's still connected, but settings are zeroed out. And I'm going to show you that right now. So we have high throttle, zero across the board, low throttle, zero across the board, and that is the proof that we are no longer using this and we have abandoned the AFC2 piggyback controller. Everything is 550cc. Hot idles. Perfectly normal, an RC 550s, Denso Supra, adjustable fuel pressure regulator, no lying, just reality. So here we are, Eddie's 99, this is our third session together on flash tuning, making sure we can get these 16 T's to where they need to be. We have RC 550's with 53 base fuel pressure, so we check everything out here. The tune is still stable, as you can see. It's pretty much where we left off last time. Our next goal is to pretty much crank up the boost and tune her. So here we are doing some wide open throttle pulls. It turns out at 53 base fuel pressure, we're pushing the 550s to 610 cc's. We're trying to dial in and calibrate the AEM true boost to hold boost better. You can see here that the trims aren't very happy. We're about to do a pull right now, Let's see how it goes. Here we are guys, uh, stopped over in Chevron real quick, this is our little uh, pit stop. Uh, checking through the logs, trying to analyze and see where we can go next. With the Denso Supra dropped in, the trims did alter just a little bit, so I'm going to tune the closed loop again just a little bit. And 
we're looking at boost right now. We're currently hitting 14-4 peak, but only holding mid-13s. And this is due to the AEM true boost. We're trying a 3 PSI spring setting for wastegate at 70% duty cycle. Now if you take a look at the logs here, this is our wide open throttle run. You can see very minimal knock, zero to nothing, maybe a couple counts, three to one, pretty much nothing really. We're hitting about 70% duty cycle at 14.4, so basically one bar spike. I think this car has enough to hit 16, and we'll see how we go from here. You can also see the trims, cars actually, you see he's trying to pull some fuel instead, as opposed to adding 3%, subtracting 1% from our previous session. So I'm going to tune this out, go back and dial in wide open throttle and we'll see how this goes. Back looking at this same log, the same data log, and I noticed something. Under data settings, Excel Enrichment has the calculations for load. And if you look here on our wide open throttle run, we notice and realize that the stock mass with Honeycomb installed and intact peaks at 200 load. You can see that here next to our O2s. Now this isn't necessarily a tuning wall for us, but I just thought this was an interesting observation to point out for you guys. And this goes all the way up to 6,500 RPM. So here we are, about to flash, finally, our fourth version and alteration of the flash tune map set for Eddie's 99. Did some changes to latencies and such and such. Hopefully this will straighten things out. So far, Wide open throttle looks good, closed loop looks good, we're hoping to make everything even better than it was before. Let's see it's flashing, there you go, and we're done again, let's hit the road. Okay, we are here trying to finalize and dial in wide open throttle. We just did one of our higher higher boost runs. We're spiking 15.8 PSI, tapering to about 14.4. This is due to AEM true boost and solenoid. Not sure what's up with that, but we're, we're, we're working with it. This is our log at about 4500 RPM onward, we start to develop knock. You can see here, knock counts in the right column. The next two adjacent columns are narrowband O2. You can see they're pretty ironed out. I would translate this to about 11.8 AFR. Air fuel ratio, you can see that it's knocking a little bit, not too much. Now this is where the magic of ECU flash comes in. With 3D mapping, I'm going to tweak this. Five counts develops right around 4600 onward and we look at load and we are at 200 so that's definitely over 180 capped out on the stock mass you can see recorded Hertz and airflow capped out this is what happens when you're pushing these 16 T's guys here you go 190 1487 and this is all at thir upper 3000 RPM already maxing out the mass pull up ECU flash we have our high octane fuel map about to tweak it 
you can see I'm already in my RPM and load bracket. I'm going to tune this and see what happens next, guys. Alright, here we are about to flash our fuel map that we have tweaked to our likings. We're going to aim for over 16 PSI and see what happens there. We go flashing the ECU. Damn. I think we are ready to see what this bitch can do.